There is in this world such a thing as dual citizenship. You know, where a person, where it's possible for a person to be a member of one country and at the same time a, a member, a citizen of one country and also a citizen of another. his allegiance lie. You know, when you think about it, when you really stop and think about dual citizenship, where does that person's, you know, heart lie? Is it with the country from which he was born? Is it with the country in which he now lives? And if those two countries were to go to war, which country would he fight for? His homeland or his adopted one? And who would trust him? You know, if he went back to fight for his, his um, homeland country, don't you think they might raise an eyebrow and say, well, you know, you have citizenship over there. I'm not sure we can trust you. And if he fought for his adopted country, wouldn't they say the same thing? Well, I don't know if we can trust you because that's your homeland. We are not citizens of this world by faith. Because when faith comes, when Jesus calls us out, he takes us away and out of this world. And our citizenship is in heaven, isn't it? And there isn't a dual citizenship. Doesn't Jesus say no man can serve two masters? Because he's going to either love the one and hate the other, or he's going to despise the one and cling to the other. And they're going to be in conflict with each other. Paul says too, doesn't he? Um, you know, the, the flesh lusts against the spirit. And the spirit wars against the flesh. And that's what we struggle with. But we are separated from. It's not dual citizenship. Because Jesus' kingdom is not of this world. And he takes us out of the material, temporary, perishing, corruptible. And by faith brings our souls into the eternal and the invisible. And at the end of time, he will raise us up with a new and glorious body and translate us into that eternal, into our home. Separate. We're different. We're different in thought, in pursuits, in desires, in goals, in purpose. And we are learning to live in that kingdom and learning to think of ourselves as being citizens of the eternal kingdom.